Hello dear students, I hope you all are fine. Today we shall start a new chapter of class 9. The name of the chapter is My Childhood and it is the sixth chapter of your textbook. And before we, before I tell you the writer of this chapter, there are some hints through which you can assume the name of the writer. So, the writer was born on 15th October 1931 in Rameshwaram. Died 27th July 2015 in Shillong. He was engineer, scientist, author, professor, politician. His nickname was Missile Man. And the famous award that he received were Padma Vibhushan in the year 1990, Bharat Ratna in the year 1997, Padma Vushan in the year 1981, King Charles II medal in the year 2007 and many more awards. One of his famous quotes quote is, failure will never overtake me if my de definition of succeed is strong enough. Yes, dear students, you are right. He is none other than Dr. A.B.A.P.J. Abdul Kalam. So, what is his full name? His full name is Dr. Abdul Fakir Dr. Abul Fakir Jainul Abidin Abdul Kalam So my childhood is an extract taken from his autobiography Wings of Fire. So, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam was the 11th president of India from the year 2002 to 2007. He was also, his nickname was Missile Man of India and he was called Missile Man because he has a lot of contribution in the Indian space program and military missile development. So let's begin the chapter. I was born into a middle class Tamil family in the island town of Rameshwaram in the Yaraswile Madras state. My father Janul Abdin had neither much formal education nor much wealth. Despite these disadvantages, he possessed great innate wisdom and a true generosity of spirit. He had an ideal helpmate in my mother, Asyamma. I do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day, but I am quite certain that far more outside, outsiders ate with us than all the members of our family put together. So, the writer is telling that I was born into a middle class Tamil family. He was born into a middle class Tamil family in the year 15th October 1931. We know that Rameshwaram is an island town and Rameshwaram is in Tamil Nadu and which is the former name of Madras. So, his father, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam's father, Jainal Abidin, he had neither much formal education. He was not an educated person, nor much wealth. He was not very rich. A middle class person is running a small family, is running a family. Despite these disadvantages, he possessed great innate wisdom and a true generosity of spirit. So, these are the disadvantages of a person's family. We all know that wealth depends, wealth matters much in one's life. And his father was not 
rich and education is the most important thing in one's life and his father had neither much education so despite these disadvantages his father has the quality of wisdom his father has many true knowledges his father is a great person who has much more knowledge of many things and a true generosity of spirit and he is a very much spiritual spiritual person he had an ideal helpmate in my mother and the person who helps his father is his mother whose name was asiyamma i do not recall the exact number of people she fed every day but i am quite certain that far more outsiders ate with us than the, than all the members of our family put together though they were though they belonged to a middle class family her, his father was neither rich yet they used to feed many people and dr abij abdul kalam is telling that he cannot recall the exact number of people she used to feed every day but he is quite certain that many outsiders ate with him than the person of his family put together so in the next para he is telling that i was one of many children so there were many other children of dr apj abdul kalam and he was among one of them a short boy he was a short boy with rather undistinguished looks born to a tall and handsome parents parents he is telling that he was not much handsome though his parents were tall and handsome we lived in our ancestral house which was built in the middle of the 19th century so they lived in their grandparents house which was built in the middle of 19th century it was a fairly large pakka house made of limestone and bricks the house of dr apj abdul kalam was a pakka house that is made of bricks and stones and at that time people don't use cement as we use today they they, they used to attach the bricks with limestone on the mosque street in rameshwaram so dr abij abdul kalam is giving the location of his house the house was in the mosque street of rameshwaram my oster father used to avoid all inessential comforts and luxuries however all necessities were provided for in terms of food medicine or clothes so his father used to avoid all the inessential luxuries because his father was very much conscious about the family and he, though he was not very much rich person he used to run the family that's why he used to avoid all the inessential comfort but his father provided him and his other siblings all the necessary essential in terms of food medicine or clothes in fact i would say mine was a very secure childhood both materially and emotionally now the dr apj abdul kalam is telling that in fact he would say that he was not only he all his siblings were very much secure childhood because their parents used to take care of them very much both materially and emotionally they took they used to they get enough they got enough love and affection from their parents and they used to get all the necessary requirements which were needed in daily life now the third para the second world war broke out in 1939 we all know that the second world war broke out in the year 1939 when i was 8 years old when dr apj abdul kalam was 8 years old the second world war was the second world war broke out that means in the year 1939 apj abdul kalam was 8 years old for reasons i have never been able to understand a sudden demand for tamarind seeds erupted in the market so apj abdul kalam is telling that he didn't understand why the tamarind seeds were in demand in the market and he took the advantage of this demand how let's see 
I used to collect the seeds and sell them to a provision shop on a mosque street. A desk collection would fetch me the princely sum of one anna. So Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam used to collect the tamarind seeds and he used to sell them in a provision shop. Provision shop means a shop where all the necessary things are found, all the essential commodities are found. So Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam used to, used to sell all the seeds he collected into a provision shop on the Moss Street in Rameshwaram and he used to collect and he used to get a princely sum of one anna. Princely sum means at that time one anna was a huge amount for him. For Dr. Apija Abdul Kalam, one anna was a huge amount and he used to get those, the one anna by selling those tamarind seeds. My brother-in-law Jalaluddin would tell me stories about the word which I would later attempt to trace in the headlines in Dinamani. So Dinamani is the name of a newspaper. Okay. So my brother-in-law, Dr. Abij Abdul Kalam's brother-in-law Jalaluddin, he used to tell him the stories of war, which on the next day Dr. Abij Abdul Kalam tried to find them in the tried to find them in the newspaper okay our area being isolated was completely unaffected by the war the place where the dr apj abdul kalam was living this area was isolated although this area was not affected by war which I would later but soon India was forced to join the allied forces and something like a state of emergency was declared the first casualty came in the form of the suspension of the train held at Rameshwaram station so the first casualty came in the form of suspension of the train halt at Rameshwaram station so the first step taken after the outbreak of second world war was the train of the train at the Rameshwaran station was stopped. The newspaper now had to be abandoned and thrown out from the moving train on the Rameshwaram road between Rameshwaram and Dhanashkori. Since the train would not stop at Rameshwaran station, the government, the British stopped the train at Rameshwaram station. That means the train cannot stop here. The train has to move and for that reason it was difficult to get the newspaper so for that reason the newspaper was thrown out of the train at a certain point where some somebody could come and receive the newspaper so where they used to throw the newspapers between Rameshwaram and Dhanushkodi there is a road between Rameshwaram and Dhanushkodi where the train is to pass and in this point they used to throw the newspaper that forced my cousin Shamsuddin who distributed newspaper in Rameshwaram to look for a helping hand to catch the bundles as if naturally I feel the slot Rameshwaram helped me earn my first wages half a century later I can still feel the surge of pride in earning my own money for the first time so since the train would not stop at Rameshwaram station they used to they had to collect the newspaper from the road between that from the road between Dhanushkodi and Rameshwaram at a point where the train would pass and the train would throw the newspaper so what happened his cousin used to Shamsuddin he used to distribute the newspaper so since the train would not stop at Rameshwaram station he had to go to that road and pick up the newspaper so Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam helped Shamsuddin and for that reason he earned his first wage and after 50 years when Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam recalled the moment the pride of earning his first wage was a very happy moment for him he can now feel the emotion of earning his first wage so dear students today 
up to this in the next day we shall discuss the fourth para of the chapter my childhood and i hope all you understood the chapter if you have any problem you can ask me thank you very much thank you